Good morning, everyone. It is a cozy New England fall weekend and I am enjoying and embracing the new season, but I'm also feeling a little bit panicked. Let me set the scene a little bit for you. Stay with me here. I am the youngest of three siblings and that means that when it comes to holidays, not much is expected of me in terms of gift giving. I'm, I'm just the baby. Like what more can I say? I'm the baby. And so this system over time has developed of instead of me buying gifts, for my family members, I make them something. And that way I, I give I give gifts still. And they get, you know, something nice and personalized that I handmade for them. It's just the perfect solution. And recently, my new obsession has become crochet. But I've realized crochet projects can take a while, especially for a beginner like me. So this weekend, I'm going to do like a 24 hour crochet and reading challenge because I'm basically just gonna spend the entire time listening to audiobooks while I crochet. But I am going to split it in between two days. So I'm gonna do 12 hours today and 12 hours tomorrow. That way I don't die. Okay, time for the yarn haul. So I saw this amazing granny rectangle blanket on TikTok and I was like, I want that. I want to make that exact blanket. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And I got a whole bunch of this Bernat blanket perfect phasing yarn and I'm just gonna make a massive blanket and then for my other brother I also wanted to make him a blanket so I found this really cute tutorial on YouTube for mushroom granny squares so I basically went out and got a bunch of those colors and they're so beautiful together I tried not to get too many skeins because I'm kind of winging the mushroom granny blanket a little bit like I'm just gonna make a ton of them and see what happens and so I figured I can go back and get more if I really need to also I think that for my first audiobook that I'm gonna be listening to it's going to be the perfect marriage by Janine Neva Rose, which I guess is about this woman who kind of has a little bit of a failing marriage with this dude and he ends up having an affair and then getting arrested for the murder of his mistress and all of a sudden this wife who just got cheated on is like defending her husband as innocent of this murder. It is 11.45 so I'm gonna pull up my timer. I'm setting it for 12 hours and here we go. I've officially finished the first two rows. <laughs> so it's not my best work for sure. I think it's just figuring out honestly like the tension of using this kind of thick blanket yarn material because this is totally new to me. I've never made anything with this material before and it is really different. So I'm hoping that it kind of just works itself out a little bit. It's fine. Oh. I have good news and bad news. We'll do the good news first. Here is my blanket progress. Yeah! I'm pretty stoked with how it's turning out. It looks really good. As for the book, The Perfect Marriage, I have finished it and I'm giving it two stars. I think my main problems are that none of the characters were likable. It's a dual POV book it's told from the husband and the wife's perspective. And neither of them are very likable, especially the husband. And I, I think that his point of view got more book time than the wife's point of view. He was so dumb and whiny and annoying and he just did like every possible thing wrong. I don't think we're supposed to like him, but it was just difficult to read the book and enjoy it because we spend so much time in his perspective that it's just angering. It just makes you angry and annoyed. I also feel like a huge part of the satisfaction and fun of reading a mystery thriller is that it kind of feels like the killer is always a few steps ahead. But most of the time, it just felt like everyone in the book was overseeing these obvious clues. When you finish the book, you know why 
but when you're reading through the whole thing it's like god why is everyone being so dumb right now and also you're supposed to kind of figure out who it is i feel like the best feeling is always when you get to the reveal and you're like i knew it even if you literally figured out who it was like three pages before that because you're supposed to so that the reveal is like the satisfying oh my god i knew it it had to be them all along that's fun that's the joy of the reveal that's the satisfaction of the reveal. But the way that this book played out really felt like it was trying to trick the readers instead of bringing the readers along this journey and bring them to that, oh my God, I knew it moment. It was like, record scratch, see what I did there. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you reader. And that's a little bit, it's like, I don't wanna be tricked and turned into the fool. I wanna be tricked and still feel triumphant. Two stars, I'm upset. I was made a fool. Nobody makes Paigey a fool. <laughs> I can't, I'm like so in the zone with this blanket and so happy with how much progress I've made. But I do want to make like a cute fall decoration. I just can't decide if I want to do it tonight or in the morning. So I'm going to find a book and decide what I'm going to do. And then I'll update you again. Okay, I have a plan now. I'm going to switch gears a little bit with my book reading selections. I am going to read The Book of Night by Holly Black for my crochet I am not going to switch gears. I'm so in the zone with this blanket right now. So I'm gonna keep this momentum going while I still have it. And I think tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try and do like a little mini fall project. Hello again. It's just about time to call it a night. It's like 11.40. The blanket, as you can see, is big enough to use as a blanket now. And I am loving The Book of Night by Holly Black. So let me give you a little rundown. The Book of Night is kind of like this alternate universe vibe where the world is really similar to our world, except everybody's discovered shadow magic. And it's kind of like changed society almost in like a plastic surgery-esque way and it's about this girl named Charlie who has a bit of a mysterious past as a con artist she has sworn off the con artist life she's like i'm a sucker for trouble i always get dragged in and no more i'm gonna live on the straight and narrow i'm gonna keep my job as a bartender and of course she catches wind of some of her old con enemies getting into a little bit of something she just cannot help herself but get into the mix Oh, the vibe is just perfect. It takes place in New England in the fall and I'm in New England and it's fall. <laughs> and it's, Holly Black is so good at writing that it just like sucks you in immediately. I get so down, I sit here and wonder Hello, hello, and happy Sunday. I really wanted to embrace the fall vibes, the fall aesthetic, the fall feelings today. So of course, I needed to get a little Starbucks pumpkin spice drink. I also lit a nice candle. First candle of the season. I'm very excited. And of course, we also have a fireplace going on the TV. I did get dressed today which is rare for me. I'm wearing jeans. That will probably change very quickly. I will be putting on sweatpants. So it's gonna be a long day. We're gonna be staying up late, but I found the cutest pattern. It's like uh, this little ghost pattern. And I have the perfect plushy blanket white yarn for this. So I am unbelievably excited. I don't have the eyes or anything for it, but I don't care. Finding a project that you really wanna make and already having like the main material you need to make it incredible it's the setup for a perfect fall day let's get into it Ooh, 
question for the crocheters out there. When you're using a skein that looks like this, do you pull from the thread on the outside that's wrapped around or do you like dig for the middle piece and pull from there? I've been doing the outside, but I don't know if that's like the norm. Let me know. Brief intermission from the ghost creating so that I can say, Book of Night is so good. Do I really understand what's going on? Not completely, no. But did the mysterious boyfriend just say that he was so angry, he wished he could bring someone back to life just to torture them forever coming near his girl? This is why I personally prefer fantasy with a little bit of romance. It's perfect, it's perfect, it's perfect. It's not even like, don't touch her. It's, I wish I could torch, I wish I could bring him back and torture him. <laughs> okay, back to work. I finished the ghost. Look at how cute. <laughs> I didn't have the material to make eyes for the little guy, but just imagine how cute it would be with eyes. And I did things a little bit differently. Like I didn't have any filling to make it fluffy, so I filled it with paper. ASMR. And I also ended up flipping it inside out because the outside looked really messy and the inside looked really clean. Oh, I also did it a little bit wrong. I did an extra row on his body, but I think it looks normal still. So I'm so happy with how it turned out. This is the first plushie I've ever made. Stoked. So I have about two hours left and I am losing my mind a bit. I worked more on my blanket. Oh my God, look at how big it is. Hold on. I can't even show you the whole thing. So got some good progress on that, but I was like, I set out to make both of my brothers blankets as gifts. And so I need to start on the other one too. So I followed the tutorial and I made, <laughs> all right, let's talk about it for a second. Let don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Let's talk about it for a second. So it's not perfect. I did struggle a lot, but I learned a lot of valuable lessons. One of those being the triple crochet. Two, the art of winging it a little bit. Sometimes you're gonna miss a stitch and you know what we do? We move on, we move forward and we keep on trekking. But I do still think the pattern is so cute. And I think that the mushroom itself, oh, that's even the back, I'm showing you the back. The mushroom turned out very cute. I really like the mushroom. I really like the color combo and I really like the pattern it's just a bit more of a challenge than i thought it was i think because the project i've been the most excited about so far during this challenge is the giant bl blanny granny square blanket i think i'm gonna finish this 24 hour weekend challenge off with that blanket i stayed up too late it's 2 a.m it's been more than 12 hours and if i'm being honest i don't want to go to bed yet i've been working non-stop on this blanket which i am obsessed with i feel like i just kind of got into this flow state where it's like i can't stop because I don't have a single thought in my mind except double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. And <laughs> The Book of Night by Holly Black is so good. There's just something about Holly Black's writing that I love. She is like an expert at writing smart, complex, badass leading ladies and like you can definitely tell that it's a holly black book in the sense that she does kind of use some similar themes and motifs i would say but she's so good at it that like i'm hooked i did make the mistake of looking up the book on goodreads because i was like why aren't more people talking about this book it's amazing <laughs> and i saw very quickly that other people did not totally agree with me. It just does not have the best reviews. And I just like, you know you love a book when you're reading their negative reviews and you're like, ugh, they just don't get it. Like they just don't get it. <laughs> 
Anyway, I think this was a very successful 24 hours. I also really surprised myself with how much crocheting I was able to get done. But even though I don't want to, I must force myself to go to bed. So that is going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support my channel, you can give this video a like and you can hit subscribe. And I will be back very soon with more content. Bye. <laughs>